It's March, I'm kind of bored of FIFA 20, I thought, you know what, it'd be a fun video to go back to FIFA 15 and just see how the game actually was. Was it bad? Good? Should be fun to see. We're gonna be playing some FIFA 15 career mode today. Funny thing is that I don't really remember much from FIFA 15. I played FIFA 14 a lot and I really enjoyed that game. FIFA 16 was probably my least favorite FIFA, but FIFA 15 in between, don't really remember much from it. Maybe because it was an average game, I guess we'll find out. Alright, the FIFA 15 menus are pretty decent, I guess. Same as FIFA 20, like pretty much. Not much changes, of course. The background's different. That's probably the biggest change EA make every year to their game, the background. And we've got like a darker theme on FIFA 15, which I kind of like, to be honest. So this FIFA didn't have anything like Volta or, of course, the Alex Hunter storyline thing. It had Ultimate Team, Career Mode, and pretty much that's that. Probably Pro Clubs and all as well. So a pretty bare-bones FIFA game, I guess. Before we hop into some career mode, let's have a look at some of the player ratings back in FIFA 15. This should be interesting. So, Barcelona, back then at MSN, Iniesta, Rakitic, PK, only 84. Kind of feel like that's unfair. On the bench, of course, they had the likes of Xavi and co. Remember Jeremy Matthew, was back at Barcelona. Munir, Montoya, Roberto. Interesting. I think this was the team that actually won the treble. Real Madrid, of course, had a 92-rated Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi was 94 that year, and I think Ronaldo was 92. Benzema, Bale, James Rodriguez. To be fair, a lot of these players are still at Real Madrid. Not Pepe, though. On the bench, Chicharito, Varane, who's now one of the best centre-backs on FIFA 20. Interesting, man. Real Madrid haven't really changed much from back then, to be honest. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. Let's see how good Liverpool were back then. Oh my god, is this horrendous. Compare this to the Liverpool team now, it's absolutely shambolic. Liverpool, back on FIFA 15, had Sturridge as their highest rated player. And now they've got VVD, Salah, Mane, Unreal. But yeah, this, this Liverpool side is horrendous. What about Man United? Were they any better back then than they are now? Probably not. Falcao? I mean, what? Uh, Van Persie, though, was amazing. Di Maria, I remember him signing for Man United for like one season and then just going to PSG. Rooney, of course. Smalling, that defense is still tragic, but De Gea only 85. Interesting. All right, time to give FIFA 15's career mode a go. By the way, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to drop a like on this one and subscribe if you're new around here for all sorts of FIFA content. Who do we do this FIFA 15 career mode with? I definitely want to go Premier League. Oh, also, back then, EA did have the license for Juventus. Well, now they don't. But anyways, we are going to go to England. I'm thinking Arsenal, maybe, or Chelsea. Um, let's, let's go Arsenal, just for the bans. Let's go Arsenal. Let's do an Arsenal career mode. I'm going to keep it on Legendary. I'll probably get slapped silly because I haven't played this game in, what, six years? But we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at this. Back in the day, EA didn't have the licenses for the Champions League. And it was called the Champions Cup. I wasn't a big fan of that. So I'm glad EA have got the licenses finally. And look at this, guys. Arsenal in the Champions League. Well, that's not what's happening with them right now in real life. They got knocked down from the round of 32 in the Europa League. So, well, they were much better five years ago under Wenger. Look at the customization options you've got for your manager back then. It was just bare bones. Got to hand it to EA. The manager customization stuff this year is pretty decent. All right, here we go. S2G set to take Arsenal by storm. Let's see what FIFA 15 career mode is all about. Swansea City capture Arsenal star Fabianski. I'm not too sure if Fabianski can be considered as an Arsenal star. Oh god, FIFA 15 had this stupid global transfer network. Honestly, I still don't understand why it's in the game. Like, global transfer network for me, it's just such an annoying feature. I hope EA replace it with something else. I think FIFA 14 was when they first brought it in the game. And you know what? I've been playing career mode for so many years now and I've not used it even once. It's... It's just such a terrible thing. Looks like these were the times when transfer values actually made sense. And Real Madrid signed Cruz for 35. United signed Di Maria for 32. But then of course the name out of Barcelona thing happened. And after that the market's been super inflated. Not gonna lie, the menus look pretty much the same as FIFA 20. Apart from of course FIFA 15 having a darker theme. Also look at this guys. The emails you get have literally the same text as what we have in FIFA 20. 
Pretty lazy on EA's part, but hey, that's I guess what we should expect by now. Oh, look at this! FIFA 15 career mode has a feature that even FIFA 20 doesn't have. Wow, you love to see it. Request funds. You can actually ask the board to give you extra money if you complete certain objectives. EA, please bring this back on FIFA 21. For the sake of humanity, man. Come on, EA. So, here's the Arsenal team that we've got, and well, it's pretty terrible, not gonna lie. They've got Sanchez, they've got Walcott, which is okay, I guess. Mesut Ozil in his prime, Cazorla as well. But that defense, man, is just horrendous. Bellerin back then was 68 rated, let's put Zabushi in. And if you look at the reserves, it's, it doesn't get any better. Oxlade Chamberlain was back at Arsenal, Wilshire as well. But look at this guy, Nabri, back when he was a youngster, 70 rated. And now, of course, he's balling out for Bayern Munich, destroying London clubs whenever he faces them in the Champions League. Oh my god, look at the transfer budget, just 30 million to spend. I guess this was before the TV money got added on to FIFA career mode, so... We've only got about 30 to spend and I'm not sure where to invest that in. I think this Arsenal team definitely needs some defensive reinforcements because let's be honest, Mertesaka with that pace isn't catching anyone. So let's try and sign Rafael Varane and back on FIFA 15. He was still a beast, 81 rated. But what I'm surprised about is his value. I mean, what on earth was the market back then? 7 million. That's his value. We can get him for pretty cheap, I guess. Let's try and sign him. Yo, I remember this is how we used to sign players back on FIFA 15. No cutscenes and all. So, let's go in with a 18 million offer and just see what Real Madrid come back and say. Should be interesting to find out. Oh my god, look at the amount of deadwood this Arsenal team has, like Flamini and all. I'm adding every one of these guys on the transfer list to try and get some extra funds to spend. For some reference, here's Mertesacker's physical stats. 33 sprint speed and 29 acceleration. I'm pretty sure my nan's faster than that. Well, wasn't this rather simple? The transfer offer has been accepted. Imagine Varane being sold for 80 million. Impossible in this current day and age. Let's give him important first team player and I reckon he should be accepting this offer. An offer coming in for Theo Walcott. Now, I don't want to sell him because I know back on those old versions of FIFA, his space made him so overpowered. So I kind of want to use him. Oh my god, look at this. Abu Dhabi, an offer comes in for him. Remember this guy, man? The guy who was literally always injured for Arsenal. We're going to sell him off to Everton now. Hang on a minute. Man United want to try and steal Rafael Varane away from us. Hopefully he accepts our contract, man. Oh, would you look at this? Rafael Varane has chosen Arsenal over Manchester United. A bit surprised with that, but oh well. I guess he doesn't want to work with, I think, Louis van Gaal, who was the coach of Man United back then. Anyways, we've signed the contract, and he's, of course, an Arsenal player. Our first signing in today's video. Um, I know Jack Wilshere is injury-prone, but we haven't even started the season, and he's already injured. Like, what? A tone hip flex, and he's out for the next six weeks? Um... I don't know what to say, I guess FIFA 15 was realistic. Look at Man City's logo, it was the old one, which I kind of prefer over the current one that they have. Anyways, we've made this signing of Rafael Varane, why not get into a game and just see how things are? And by the looks of these player models, I've got to say, the graphics back then were shocking. Oh, here we are at the Wembley Stadium for Arsenal versus City. The stadium graphics have improved a lot in 2020, that's gotta be said. But tell you what, I can't see that big of a difference in like the overall graphics. Yes, the player models look a bit weird back on FIFA 15, but it ain't that bad, you know, it ain't that bad. This is how I'm lining up for this one against Man City. Giroud up top, Sanchez, Walcott, Ozil, Prime, Cazorla, Ramsey and all, Varane. Should be interesting to test this team out. Of course, Man City back then had a good side. Of, I mean, apart from Caballero in gold, they've got Zabaleta, Mangala company Yaya Tsore, David Silva, Borni up top, no Aguero, that's interesting. The game feels so fast, I think I'm gonna get battered here, I'm playing on legendary as well, I think, I think that was the wrong call, I think I'm gonna struggle in this game. Bringing it inside, now Giroud, oh what a pass to Sanchez, oh my god we might actually be able to score, oh Alexis Sanchez, oh that's a beauty of a goal, 1-0 up against Man City, and what, I think I'm a god at FIFA 15. And I haven't even played it in six years. Brilliant, I guess. Yo, Alexis Sanchez with a goal. Look at that for a pass from Giroud. They had a bit of Messi in that, you know. And Alexis Sanchez with a lovely finish. No chance for Willy Caballero. I mean, well, City did play it really 
um, risky, I guess, by starting Caballero. Anyways, 1-0. I'm liking FIFA 15. I much prefer being able to, you know, move the analog stick and aim where I want to pass. Like, it's so bad, the goal kick system on FIFA 20. I much prefer this. Here's Olivier Giroud. Releases Alexis Sanchez. Go on, Sanchez. Oh, look at that touch. The longest touch you'll ever see. And well, well, company got there first. Half time and well, on legendary difficulty, I'm 1-0 up against City in the cup final. You know what, I'm going to pat myself on the back for that, but it's only the first half. Let's see what we can do in the second. What a ball played in. No, the header is off the post. Even my controller is about to die. Thankfully, that was off the post. I kind of want to win this game now. I've been actually trying really hard to, you know, win it, but... Conceding there would have been a problem. Chesney, what's he doing? How did he not collect that? Well, goalkeepers were terrible on FIFA 15 as we do eventually concede. Wait, is it is it offside? No, it isn't. Jesus Navas scores. It's 1-1. That was terrible keeping then. Even this man, look at this. What was that? Uh, anyways, 1-1. Oh, City have a free kick in an interesting position. Let's see what they do with this one. Good ball played in, I guess. And we don't get it away. It's Edin Dzeko. Strong challenge. And Rafael Varane cleans things up. And that's full time. Are we going to go to penalties? Or is it going to be... Of course, um, extra time. Oh, so it's going to go directly to penalties. I am so bad at FIFA 20's penalties, and I just hate the system. Let's see what it was like back on FIFA 15. So if you guys can see on the bottom right, we do have like a power gauge, and we're going to have to like time it for green. So let's see how this works. Giroud, I'm going to try and go right. Let's see how this works. Um, I'm sorry, what? How do you even take penalties on FIFA 15? I'm confused, man. Giroud just missed that and I was just slightly aiming towards the right. Yaya Tore has scored. Um, don't we have any indicator or something? What do I do then? Um, I'm confused guys. Let's try going left with Kazorla. And okay, so I've just got to slightly, you know, caress the left analog stick. Now we know how to score them. Good penalty. Nasri versus our keeper and I went the right way and he still scored. What? I guess FIFA 15's penalties were messed up as well. All right, here we go. We've got to score this now with Aaron Ramsey. Go on, Ramsey. Put this one in. It's been saved. I'm bad at penalties even on this game, guys. And there's nothing much I can do about it. What's Silva going to do? Let's try and make the save here. Oh, my God. The cheeky little man has just chipped me there. That hurts. Now, we've got to score this one with Mesedo. So, let's see. I'm going trying to go top corner. I was trying to go top corner. Just went down the middle. And now City can win it if they score this one with Edin Dzeko. Let's see what happens here. Let's try and make the save. I'm going... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dzeko has just missed that one by a mile. Let's try and score this one with Alexis Sanchez. Go on. Put this one top bins. It's in the back of the net. I'll take that. I will take that. Now Zabaleta needs to miss if we've got any chance of winning this game. Come on. Oh, I've made the save. Let's go. I've made the save. And now if I score, I think we win it. I think we win it. Oh, wait, is it going to go to sudden death? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's go top bins. I want to try and go top bins this time. Go on, Walcott. More like it. That is more like it. And now if we save, we win this uh, cup. Let's go. Company. He's not good at pens, man. We've got to make the save here. Go on. Oh, we've made... What? I dived the right way and he still scored. What is this game even? Go on, Debushi. Put this one top left. Oh, that's not quite top left, but it's still a banging penalty. Now it's Navas versus Chesney. Come on, we save this and we get it done. Go on, Navas. Miss this one. Oh, he's actually missed. Let's go. We've won the Community Shield final. Turns out I'm pretty good at penalties back on FIFA 15 at the very least. So that's pretty nice. No celebration from our players. They even, even back on FIFA 15, nobody cared about the Community Shield. So I'm now just simming until the end of the season to see how things are going and see where we finish. We've kind of helped Arsenal out a bit by bringing in Rafael Varane. Let's see where we finish. I've been sat here for the last 20 minutes and it's still simulating. We're only in February now. This is going to take ages. How slow was the system? It's finally done. After sitting here for about 20 minutes, the simulation is complete. Let's now see what's happened in the league. Well, even on FIFA, Arsenal have finished fourth. Isn't this ironic? Manchester City end up winning the title, 87 points. United finish second, Chelsea as well. Swansea relegated, Burnley relegated. Leicester City as well going down. That is very interesting. I think this was the year when they actually won the Premier League title. I think it was. 
and, and on career mode, they've just been relegated. Hilarious. Well, Barcelona ended up winning the Champions Cup, not league, beating Chelsea 2-1 in the final. We got to the knockout rounds, the round of 16, but as usual, even on the game, Arsenal drew Bayern Munich and, well, got slapped. Not really, though. 2-1 is a fair scoreline, I guess. So Bayern went through and, well, that's how it went. So I guess that's that for career mode and I've got to say not much has changed you know in FIFA 20 like it's pretty much the same game mode I guess for back in the day this was actually good FIFA 15 career mode for its time it was a good game but it's kind of like annoying to see how little has changed since back then like if you log on to FIFA 20 you will find everything pretty much the same apart from a few gimmicks and all that but yeah my review on FIFA 15 career mode it was a decent game for its time. Oh, so I had an Ultimate Team account as well on FIFA 15. Does this even work? I'm not too sure. And let's see what kind of a team I've got. Look at my record. I only played about 100 games or so on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Did I have any sort of team? Yo, my team was sick. Yo, what a team, man. I had Neymar. Did I pack him? Of course not. I bought him. I had Gareth Bale. I had Griezmann playing striker when he's a left winger. I clearly didn't know much about the game. Andres Iniesta, I had Luka Modric as well. Alone Messi, of course. But you know what? This is a good team. I had Neymar back on FIFA 15. And I had like few players like Pirlo. David Villa in form. Yo, I'll take that. This, this, this is pretty good. So I guess we're gonna wrap up today's video right here. We've taken a look at career mode, ultimate team, kickoff and all that. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys did. I might try and get on to some other old FIFAs. Maybe like towards like the FIFA 10, the FIFA 9s and those kind of FIFAs. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time.